And welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna do a quick demonstration here on how to load film into a medium format camera. This is 120 film and we are gonna go ahead and load it in the, this uh, Roloflex camera. This is a dual reflux camera and it happens to be the uh, 3.5 model with the Carl Zeiss glass. All right, so let's get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and move some of this stuff here out of my way just to have a little bit more room. And flip the camera on its bottom like this, okay? This here is your tripod mount. It's also got two locks here, all right? So I'm gonna slide this lock down out of the way here and then open this tab here to unlock it fully and then it will go ahead and open up, all right? I do have the take-up spool already in position and your film will get installed in the bottom here. Also notice there's two rollers. The film is gonna go in between the two rollers and then up and over this roller. All right. So it does have, it is keyed on the film so that you can install it on the rollers here, on the pins. All right. Go ahead and pull it out a little bit here. We're going to Put it between the two rollers and then up and over the roller. All right, so we're going to go ahead and install this tab here into the take up spool. There is a slot in here that you're going to get that lined up with. All right. I do have it lined up now. I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. All right, perfect, it is in there. All right, so the next thing I want you to notice here is there's two tabs right here. This is your indicator mark where you're gonna stop when loading the film, okay? So the film back has got arrows on there and you're going to stop right there, okay? And go ahead and close up the back now. Squeeze it tightly, close that tab, get your lock safety in place here, and you are ready to roll. All right, so the indicator does show zero. All right, so we do need to wind that until it shows one. We are at one, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and just demonstrate and run through this whole roll here just so I can show you how to remove the film. It does have 12 exposures. So notice how it stops and then you bring it back and it stops there and you can go ahead and fire your shot, all right? This is a precision piece of equipment here, so you do wanna do this gen uh, gingerly, never force anything. All right, so notice how it won't fire. That's because I didn't bring it back to the position here where it releases the trigger or the, uh, the shutter. Let's go ahead and check my indicator here. All right, we are on shot 12. So at this point, it is just going to continue and roll up the film. You hear it? It is fully wound up in there. I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way. And we'll go ahead and open the back of the camera and remove our film, okay? So same way, you unlock this, unlock that, Okay, see so your roll of film is exposed and it's been ready to be removed and uh, shipped off to be processed. All right, unless you process your own, kudos to you if you do that. All right, pull out on the tab here and it's gonna release the film. 
So on 120 film, it does have a little bit of glue here, like a stamp. You go ahead and uh, lick the, the tab here and uh, close it up, and that will help keep this all sealed. Um, it is uh, fully exposed at this point, um, so you definitely want to try to do this in lower light if you can, and um, you know not have it sitting out in the sun or anything like that, or light where it can uh, you know give you a light leak on your film. All right. So at this point, I personally go ahead and throw it back in a box just until I'm ready to ship it off. I do ship mine out. I do not process it at home my own, on myself, by myself, on my own, all right? So another good idea, since you have the back of the camera open already, is to go ahead and take your spool here and move it into the position here to accept a new roll of film. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Pop this out. It is slotted, and so is the sprocket. So I'm gonna go ahead and find a spot here, get that all lined up correctly, so that I can slide that right in. And then I'm gonna pop that closed, and it is installed and ready to go for the next time I shoot a roll of film through here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close the camera back up because I'm not shooting another roll of film at this time. And that's it. That is how you install a roll of film into your medium format Roloflex camera. Hey, thanks for visiting the channel today. I hope you learned something about uh, medium format film. I was pretty intimidated uh, by it when I first got this camera. Wasn't really sure, was uh, you know scared to break it, but it's a pretty rock solid camera. Uh, it is definitely a precision piece of machinery here, so you definitely want to uh, learn all you can about it ahead of time and uh, you know treat it accordingly. Um, but I've taken some pretty awesome shots with it, so come on back and uh, check those out in the future. I'll do some other videos specifically on this uh, particular camera and uh, we'll go through all that together. We'll even check out um, some editing and uh, you know some Lightroom stuff and uh, processing um, as all that is um, part of photography. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy doing it and uh, I'll be sharing that with you. All right, thanks again. Have a great day. Bye.